Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. All right. In previous videos, we saw how do we create dictionary data frame and how do you use a map type also in there. All right. So in this video, just I wanted to show how do we convert the elements in that dictionary data frame into multiple columns. For example, I want to convert each key into multiple columns and the values within those keys wanted to map as a values for those columns. Okay, so let's get started. I'll show you with examples so that it will be more clear. I uh, let me just use the dictionary um, in a data frame which already I created in my previous video. All right, so let me just import required methods and I'm going to use this data set to create the data frame. And this is the data frame created. So in here, this data frame has got name field and also properties field. This property field is dictionary type. If you look at this, this is dictionary type. It, it has got dictionary. So here uh, there is key and respective value and also key respective value, key value pair, uh, pairs are there. I want to convert each key into different columns. All right. So let's get started to do that. There are uh, many ways. Uh, let's see one by one. So the first way that I'm going to use by using map transformation. So I'm going to use map transformation here. So first I'm just going to create one data frame directly. Uh, DF1 equals to DF dot. It should be converted into RDD map lambda the lambda x and then I'm gonna just use x dot name as is then x dot properties from here I want to export the brand as a different field in the same way x dot properties from here I want to export the color all right it should be fine let me close parenthesis I'm gonna just display the data frame it should be fine all right, so uh, it's it's converted to RDD. Uh, I need to convert it back to a data frame. So 2DF I'm going to define the structure for the data frame. So I'm going to just say name and brand then color just defining the schema for the data frame so it should be like this now it should be fine let me just display takes okay all right these field names are not in uh, single quotes there is spelling mistake here uh, that is the reason why it was failing now it should be fine all right so um we could able to export the keys in the dictionary uh, field into different fields, different columns. All right, brand and respective values, color and respective values. So this is one way of you know um, exporting. I would say that converting dictionary elements keys into different fields in data frame. Let's see other way of converting dictionary keys into fields in the data frame. All right. So this time I'm going to just uh, define df2 and then df dot select. I'm going to select what are the fields I need. Name. And then I need from this data frame properties. From properties I would say brand. In the same way df dot properties color. Now let me just display.
all right so here we could able to we could able to convert um, keys into different fields of course you can give alias names here let me alias this to brand same way i can alias even color also but let it be so likewise you can convert um, you know um, the fields into whatever the name you want so this is other way directly just you can uh, call the fields from your data frame so the other method is by using get item i'm gonna just use as is in here here i need to create new fields by using with column and get item i'm gonna say with column column name I'm gonna just say brand and value would be df dot properties dot get item that is brand same way I can create one more column color I think our parentheses are closed properly. Now let, let me just display data frame three. All right, but here we got one extra field that's property as is it is there. So I don't want property to be retained. So I want to drop it here. I did not give color. That's why it has created as a brand with column color. Now what happened? It should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so we got brand and color values also being populated correctly, but I don't want properties field uh, because already I converted those keys into different fields. So what I can do, I can just drop straight away. Okay, so properties field been uh, dropped. Now this is what I want. So this is one way of you know uh, getting our uh, keys into columns. So there are other functions also through which we can export the keys and values from the key value pair into different fields. All right. So I'm going to use, I'm going to create a new data frame. Same thing, select name so i'm going to use one function called explode by using explode i can convert them but let's see how it's going to be all right it has exported um, the keys and values but how it has exported see here explode is the function through which we can unpivot our data frame so it has just unpivoted it has converted brand it was a column before it has converted into row in the same way the values been uh, assigned to those columns okay so brand and color both were columns before now those are converted to rows under properties if you have 20 uh, keys then you would have got uh, 20 rows in here i had two keys so um, for each element and there are two rows created for each element all right so explode is a function through which we can unpivot our data set or data frame all right i want to just export only the keys i don't want to export the values i want to export only the keys for that there is one function let me use that i'm going to just create data frame five map keys okay by using map keys i can just export only the keys those i needed all right see here only the keys brand and color for each product brand and color uh, are the keys keys got exported so in the same way if i want to export only the values i can go for map underscore values it will export only the values all right so likewise um, you can export key values from our key value pair dictionary data frame into 
multiple fields if you want to export only keys of course you can use map underscore keys if you want to export only values you can use map underscore values or if you want to export them into different fields of course you can uh, you know achieve by using uh, different methods whatever we have just gone through all right i hope this is clear for you guys thanks for watching my video we'll meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you